Greetings once more from the Underworld. Today's Netherworld competitors are going to be the Frisky Dingo versus Kihaku for the win. Frisky Dingo's team consists of Do Me the Paladin, A Favor the Lancer, Act Like a the Summoner, and Piece of Bacon the Scholar. Meanwhile, Kihaku's team consists of Mary the Wizard, Voltax the Ninja, Rainbow the Samurai, and Venus Cape the Monk. First map between these two competitors is going to be map 73 inside of the windmill shed. Good luck to the both of you and may you live to fight on another day. And this very tiny map we have Frisky Dingo in the blue and Kahaku in the green. Starting us off, the ninja gets first turn and goes for a 50-50 shot on the charm, which does connect onto the scholar. Very good start for Kihaku there, as Frisky Dingo does the standard draw out opener. Wizard is going to port forward and go for a 194 damage shot. Auto shell will definitely help a bit. And 187 damage, counter flood, no petrify onto her teammate. Summoner runs far away and goes for a quick summon as the uh, samurai charges something as well, that's a bit different. Scholar is going to retaliate while charmed as we get a bio 1 which gets counter magic, no poison proc onto the samurai. Double panel sleep misses the summoner as a shiva pops out and hitting two units killing the wizard. Ninja goes for a double panel shot, very small damage split keeping him alive as the monk goes on to res duty. So currently it's a 3 on 3, uh, make that 4 on 3 now that the Paladin has woken back up in Frisky Dingo's favor. Scholar is still charmed however, that will make a big difference in this match. She's going to go for a bio and a bio 3 which knocks out the summoner after many attempts and now we have a bad luck being charged out of the ninja. Paladin rushing forward for Frisky Dingo, doing nothing. Lancer is going to go after the Charging Ninja. 209 damage, dropping him instantly. We have a Mad Science coming out of the Samurai. And 165 damage, Bio 2, I believe, out of the Scholar. 245 damage, Axe Shot drops the Samurai in one hit. 74 damage, Punch, and a redirect to Bio 3 will put the Scholar into critical. Lancer Phoenix down action, bringing Frisky Dingo's team back up to full as it is down to just one monk remaining for Kihaku. Nobody else is doing much anything. We got more mad sciences floating around. And monk gets a turn before the summoner can get that Moogle off. Lancer is in a great position to resurrect people. And if the monk continues trying to cancel Sandbag, well, he's going to get an axe to the head. Round one went to Frisky Dingo. Let's see how round two goes. Round two between the Frisky Dingo and Kihaku for the win is going to take place on map 55, Graveshi Graveyard of Airships. This, of course, is the final map of the game where Alma shows her ultimate usefulness. We're going to start off just like the last match with everybody rushing forward on Kihaku's team and the Paladin starting with his standard draw out haste and regen. Everybody else is going to be out of range for quite a while. We got a double panel haste coming out of the wizard for Kihaku and everybody else is going to slowly but surely start creeping their way forward. We have a lore coming out of the samurai and a I have no clue what kind of spell Paralyze coming out of the Scholar but missing the Ninja. He's going to rush way far ahead of the rest of his team and go for AoE Disables and we get our first Lightning Stab. Damage Split, Damage Split, Absorb MP. So all sorts of reactions flying around here as the Lancer hangs back and misses the ninja due to the blindness from the ninjutsu. 
And the ninja lives to fight yet again as he dodged the second attack from the paladin as well. He's going to take, I believe, a holy to the face, which should drop him. As well as a silent song coming out of the scholar, forcing the samurai to go on to draw out. 90 damage to Sura, holy. Combo down that ninja quite nicely, and he is quite far away from the rest of his resers. We get a retaliatory flare coming out of the wizard, and another poke out of the lancer, which does connect through blind. 171 damage axe smack drops him down, as the scholar is going to retreat and go for a tornado, I believe. 194 damage bolt three. And not bio three. Current encounter flood, which very minimal damage is enough to actually drop the scholar. Rosame heal, getting her back up to full. And we get a, another bolt four out of the wizard. Well, she tried to, then she got stabbed. Quite unfortunate for her. At 302 damage smack, dropping this samurai into critical. And we have a raise coming out of the summoner. Bring it back to four on one. Lancer will not let this mad science go off. And round two has gone to the frisky dingo. So congratulations, Kihaku. Thanks for playing.